Hello everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to install Persistent Kingdoms for Mountain Blade Warband. So first up, what you do is you go to the Persistent Kingdoms website on MotDB, which is just this link. Um, you can search for mods over here and you can just look for Persistent Kingdoms. Once you're on this page, um, you simply go to files and there you will see two files so you have persistent kingdoms 1.0 and the 1.1 patch you first need to install 1.0 and then you need to install the patch um, so it's really simple you just click on this um, you come on the page of the 1.0 so that's the full version click on download now that will start the downloading so as you can see it's just loading an ad right now but in the bottom here you can see it's starting to download right you just wait until that's done I'm gonna just abort that because I already have it downloaded so I don't need to download that again so once you've downloaded that you go back to files you go to the 1.1 patch and exactly the same, you click on download, wait until the patch starts to download and then you just wait until it's ready. Um, and it's like really fast one, this one. So that's it. Then you have both of those downloaded. Once downloaded, this doesn't mean it's already uh, good to play because then you need to go to your download folder which is over here on your PC, so downloads. Um, if you just type in Persistent Kingdoms, you can find it, otherwise just it should be the latest date. So of course I've, as you can see, I've downloaded the patch again, which I don't need, of course. Um, but if you just look for the name, it will show up there. Once you have this, you need a program called WinRAR, so you can just Go to WinRAR, and um, this is of course a Belgian version that I have right here. Um, just Google it, and you will find the version that you need uh, to download, and make sure to, you know, download the language you need. And most of the time, you're gonna need to download the 64-bit. So make sure you have um, that one. Uh, once you've downloaded WinRAR, it's very simple. You go back to your downloads and then you just right click here then you open it with winner or just double click also possible um, and once you've opened that with winner you get a stupid pop-up just remove that one so you have this over here then you um, so this is in Dutch of course so it's just extract to so you click this one extract to and then you just look for modules and then you need to find the right place to put it so for me that is on my d drive that can be something different for you steam library steam apps common mount and blade warband modules and as you can see this is the modules one that's the one where i want to put it in and here you see all the mods i have so you should see at least native in there if you don't have any mods installed yet native should be in there uh, or maybe Napoleonic Wars if you bought that. But native definitely is going to be in there. And it's just modules. And if you scroll up, it's in Mind and Blade Warband. And if you scroll more up, it's in Common, Steam Apps, Steam Library. And once you've got the right location, uh, which is this one, so just Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Mind and Blade Warband modules, uh, you simply click OK. To start extracting it i'm not going to do this because i already done it once you do this and you click up ok it will extract the whole folder in the module map of mount and blade warband and that will look like this so over here i'm my task management as you can see i'm in my d drive where for me my steam library is located then you go to Steam Apps, you go to Common, you go to Manimblade Warband, you go to Modules, and in here you can find 
persistent kingdoms which is the mod you just installed so this should look like this and persistent kingdom should be a folder in there and if you open it it should look like this data languages resource scene obg sounds textures and all these other uh, text files okay so now we have the basic version of persistent kingdoms now we need to install the patch the 1.11 that we already downloaded here so it's in our download folder as you can see you just double click to open it with WinRAR, close this little window, and then you just go to Persistent Kingdoms 1.1 patch. But as you can see, it has exactly the same name as Persistent Kingdoms over here in our module folder, which is the basic version. So what we're going to do is when we extract it, we're going to not select modules like we did with the previous one we're gonna select Persistent Kingdoms. So this will mean that in the Persistent Kingdoms folder, it will create this patch folder. So once we do that, we just press on OK. And if you go back to your modules over here, you go to Persistent Kingdoms, it will now have a map called Persistent Kingdoms, as you can see over here. So once you have this, you just double click on Persistent Kingdoms, you just select all the stuff that's in here and you just simply drag it from here to the first persistent kingdoms. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again, but once you've done this, this will all be gone. So this means that this map over here, I will just for now delete it, will be empty like this. And then you just go back to the first persistent kingdoms and you just delete this map because as you can see, it's just empty and everything will be patched up in the other files that are in here. So you just can delete this map and you back have, you're back to basic and you have your persistent kingdoms. Mod installed with the 1.1 patch. So that's how you install the patch. It's uh, a bit more complicated than just downloading it, but as you can see, it's not that hard to get it installed. Once you have this installed, you're ready to go. So you can go back to Steam. Uh, launch Man and Blade Warband, select Persistent Kingdoms, and you can start playing the mod. Um, if any other patches come out later for this mod, it will exactly be the same way you need to install them. Um, so this, it's all always the same if it's a patch. If it would be a full version, so let's say Persistent Kingdoms 2.0, which is a complete full version, then you can just only download the new new full version and you can just remove the old one. You don't need to patch it like the 1.1 patch. But that will be stated que clearly on ModDB. So if you go back to ModDB, so this is the page of the patch, as you can see. And this is not a full version. It says in the description, read the in installation notes. So if you, as you can read, it's all explained here. And this is not a full version. So if it would be a full version, this would also be stated over here. So you can just download the full version and then you have a full mod that's working. For patch notes, um, this will be the way to do it. All right, uh, I hope this explained everything you need to know on how to install PK. And uh, yeah, I hope you join along on the Cultural server and have some great time.